Hello, beautiful soul, and welcome. Welcome. Today is April 22nd, to a beautiful, powerful date as we travel through these times, these beautiful times, challenging times. We're still, uh, we're just beginning the so called storm, and things are going to uh, get bumpy. So hang on tight. This is part of the event which I spoke of in the last uh, message in January, January 14th, I think it was. And then, um, now we're coming into this new phase and things are shifting in a very profound, very powerful way for us. So I want to cover a few things in this message because there is so much going on and I try to pack things together at the same message. so I don't have to do multiple messages throughout the times. So here we are, here we are in, a, in a very pivotal time in terms of our energetical uh, transmutation and formation um the way we create our reality and the way we shape things in our life and i'm going to get to that later on um it is a very important subject that we share today because um sensitivity power and responsibility come together very closely this is eddie ben abraham and today is as i said april 22nd it's a very powerful day i want you to make time for yourselves to um focus on what it is that you desire what is it that you really desire and focus on that for the future? Bring that future to yourself, to the present. Um, do that, this process that I call hard projection and using your emotional self and your desire and your will and your free will to bring that reality for yourself in the present. So what's going on on Vortex? I'm going to start with that and then we're going to go into, um, we're going to, on Vortex, we're going to talk about Heart Circles Unite and then my free class and then very very special we're going to talk about the seven the seven founders the original seven founders this is incredible stuff that i'm first time i'm releasing this in this format i just published this uh, message uh on our platform this week on vortex.com uh, vortex is v-o-r-t-8-x it's pronounced vortex but it has the eight the digit eight instead of the uh, the e in right in the middle so let's begin with what's taking place on Vortex. Um, heart Circles Unite. Um, it's basically time for us to meet in person. Um, it can be in any whatever shape or form. And from our perspective, what we are planning and doing already is sacred, uh, sharing sacred space in ceremonies, classes, and workshops. Classes and workshops are going to come in sometime around June. And I will publish all the details on the page. Uh, simply go into Vortex, hit the button that says uh, Heart Circles Unite, and all the details will be there. Um, with regard to my free class, that is um, the anatomy of your soul. Very profound information. I'll share the details as I describe the information about the seven founders. So let's go to the seven founders. And then we'll talk about the sensitivity power and responsibility that is very very important that you listen to at this point because i always monitor things that are going on the planet and how people uh within my circle close circle and further out circle on uh, social media what's happening there to see what's going on and through my private sessions and courses i've seen and witnessed this need for us to talk about this particular subject but as I digress, let's go back to the uh, seven founders. So it's been about uh, four, four weeks since, uh, since they first shared to me who they actually are, who are the seven founders. And then um, let's go back a couple of years ago when I received this uh, particular message and they said, we are seven and we will teach you all about the science of the universe. I forgot about this. This was years ago couple of years ago and then uh, more recently about six months ago i felt something new is coming in there's a new set of support group um into my entourage we each have an entourage support group and um one this this feeling that i haven't felt before or something that i haven't met before uh for years i've channeled gaia cryon metatron and others ancestors you know tapping to the akashic records and so on but this one felt very different very very different you once you do a lot of channeling you start to feel that there's a difference there's a different flavor to each and where this information is coming from so here we are the seven founders stepped forward 
And their first recourse was that I meet them at the beach regularly. There I was on the beach uh, for uh, during, during the last two weeks of March. I just went there a few times a week. And then on April 1st, it was a Friday. Was it a Friday? Yes, it was a Friday. Early in the morning, after about 40 minutes drive to my favorite spot on the beautiful shores of Malibu, California. Um, then being there and spending about 30 minutes with them and, 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 and recording, excuse me for that, and recording the, the information that they're providing me with, the seven founders have shown me and explained who they are. So I'm going to, I'm going to basically read out what they actually said. First thing, we are the seven founders. We represent the original whales from the galaxy of water. We are the guardians of the water. We are the bridge between all life in every galaxy. We are from the central sun. We are from the central sun. We are here to gift you, Earth souls, what you've been waiting for. The information they share with me, and they will share with me, will take about eight months to download, to channel, basically. And so this will all go into one book. And this main book will be accompanied with an additional five workbooks. And they will all be available together in a set of six. They have already outlined some of the things that we will do. But for the most part, the entire, the rest of the work is, is going to be one step at a time, one day at a time, one month, one week at a time. It's all a work in progress. To get a glimpse of the information coming, I invite you to watch my latest free class. It's called The Anatomy of Your Soul. It is available anytime you like. Uh, simply you um, on, on Vortex, as I said, V-O-R-T-8-X, simply uh, um, register your free user account, wait for us to approve, and then log in uh, and click the orange button at the top that says class is ready. This is the first time I share these details in public, and it is with great respect and appreciation to our water family, the seven founders, the whales, the original whales. Profound. This is incredible, guys. This is huge. The amount of emotions they're, they're, they're pouring into me in, at particular points in their information is just inc incredible. It is so powerful. It's so heartwarming. It's so loving. It's huge. Now, bear, bear in mind, this information, and they are available to everyone, this doesn't mean that I'm the only one that is capable or ready to bring this information. This is ready for you too, just like Cryon uh, and any other uh, you know information out there. So I looked forward um, to your presence in class, ceremonies, and retreats. Um, this is going to be incredible. It is already incredible. Let's go back to um, what I started this message with sensitivity, power, and responsibility. As we grow in our evolution, we gain, we open the vessel of light. We gain more light. We're bringing more light from the other side so we can sustain it within our physical self. As we do so, our awareness becomes more expansive. With that comes tools, comes gifts. And when you are increasing your frequency of vibration, gaining more light, you become more sensitive. You literally become more sensitive to everything around you. If that's a presence of someone in the room you don't feel comfortable with, if there's something celestial happening in, in the stars, then you're going to feel it more than you felt before. There's more things coming in and stepping in as you move forward in time and you become more accustomed and you choose to receive more. And tools and gifts come to you. And you have to be responsible. Why? Because with this sensitivity comes power. Sensitivity doesn't mean you're weak. Sensitivity means you're powerful. I'll give you an example so that you understand what's the relationship between sensitivity, power, and responsibility comes with what I'm talking about and what exactly I'm talking about, what type of gifts. So let's talk about an extreme example, telepathy or telekinesis. So as you evolve and you become more accustomed to these gifts, 
you utilize them, you use them, this is basically the sensitivity aspect of your power. You become more aware. You know what energy is. You utilize it. You push energy. You do so many things with it. And so telepathy, for example, with telepathy or telekinesis comes responsibility. And the responsibility level is in is exponential to the value of the power itself. For example, telepathy. If you're now able to read people's minds and you're able to communicate, you cannot penetrate anyone without their approval first. There's got to be respect. There's got to be a free choice, free will, be part of it. Telekinesis. Let's take it another step up. You're able to move things around. What if you get upset? What if you lose your temper? Same thing, right? Or similar. Or you just don't like something. You come from a negative aspect. What can happen? You can literally hit, hit, uh, hurt someone. Telekinesis can hurt someone. Because not only you can move things, you can affect somebody in the body. Now, this is very powerful stuff what I'm sharing with you. But bear in mind, the responsibility for every gift you receive is exponential to the gift itself. Process this. Work through this. You want to read tarot cards. That's power. You got to have responsibility. What do you do with it? How do you treat the people that you work with? You give them permission? Do they give you permission to work with you, with you, with you first? How about healing? Energy healing. This is starts with sensitivity. You're sensitive to the person that you're working with. And at the same time, the power aspect comes in. But how big is the responsibility here? Exponential much bigger. So here we are. I give you this little bit of a overview of things with regard to the sensitivity power and responsibility for you to chew on, to think about, and to know and become aware of your thoughts, your actions, your feelings, your emotions, and everything that comes with it. So you are more, more of a responsible um, to be in more of service, but with responsibility. Okay. So I can give you a lot more to work with, but you have to be responsible with it. That means to know how you're going to mow the lawn, not to hurt the trees, other plants that you don't need to hurt. I mean, don't need to cut, I'm sorry. Or to have a awareness not to hurt anyone driving over someone, God forbid, right? So again, think about it from a very simple perspective or analogy and then expand it to those things that you are doing now, which are brand new for you. You've never done this before. Perhaps you've never done tarot cards. You've never felt energy. You've never felt, you know, the the transition of the planets. Mercury retrograde is already in. What's going to happen? What's happening? I'm noticing things. I'm paying attention to things. Again, we're talking about expansive awareness as in something that allows you to see more. Sensitivity, power, responsibility. I think I covered everything. What I wanted to cover for today. So I'm sending you tons of love. Hope to see you soon. And sending you an incredible hug for every day from this point on. And um, talk to you soon. So uh, bye for now.